Hi everybody, I'm Dave Balkin. I'm the CEO of Balkin Sewer and Water Main Service. I want to explain to you folks out there what a single vent house trap is. Uh, this is a single vent house trap as opposed to a double vent house trap. And you might think, why would I really have to know that? And if you stick around till the end of the video, which would be nice, I could explain to you how not knowing that could potentially cost you thousands of dollars actually, and it has cost some people thousands of dollars. When you have a sewer blockage, it's primarily uh, on your sewer line that's taking sanitary flow. And just so you know, in New York City, this is a single vent house trap. This is not legal for sanitary flow. If you do in fact have a single vent house trap, that's a rarity. Chances are it's not for your sanitary line. What it's probably for is to connect an area drain or a roof leader line, uh, something that takes rainwater or storm water. Now, why it's important to know the difference and how to tell the difference, there's like five ways you can really tell that you would think are common sense, but let's make common sense even more common. That's, that's my point here today. If there are two sewers in the street, Many areas have two different municipal sewers, one's for storm water, one's for sanitary water. Frequently the manholes are labeled. Then you know you should probably have two house traps in your house. If you only have one, it probably is for the sanitary line. But what frequently happens is the storm line is typically higher than the sanitary line. Somebody finds this trap, they think it is the trap, and you should really be looking if it's a single vent trap, deeper in the trap is usually the sanitary line because the sanitary fixtures are lowered in the storm line. Now, if you do find a single vent trap, if you're getting a backup, you got to take the cover off. You have to see, in fact, is it backing up? If it's not backing up, then you know you have the wrong trap. And if you also want to confirm it is for your sanitary flow, flush the toilet and see if any water comes through. If the water does not come through, then that is not for your sanitary flow. And that's very important to know. And now I'll get to why it's important to know. I'm doing this for over 40 years, actually. On two occasions that come to mind, we were called out because folks had hired a drain cleaner who told them their sewer was broken. In one case, the person was snaking out the storm sewer and we were hired to replace their sanitary sewer that had absolutely nothing wrong with it. You know, sewers in New York City are thousands of dollars in, in repairs. Uh, on another occasion, the individual, <clears throat> pardon me, snaked out the single vent trap that was a storm line. They actually went up a roof leader line, got stuck at the gutter. And again, the people on the expertise of their drain cleaner hired a repair company to dig up a sewer that there was nothing wrong. So it's very important to keep that in mind of, you would think, what's the big deal? Why should I know the difference? This is from my in-house training for my own techs to make sure they know a thousand percent, but it should also be helpful to you folks out there, and I hope it was. Thank you.